It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And our focus is on George Pickens. He was a walking highlight reel last week with a four-touchdown game. It's the Steelers and the Jags. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to AccraSure Stadium on the north shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They've got all W's on the ledger so far. A perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they've come in on a nice run of recent form. Four wins out of five. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Well, the Jaguars ready to go on offense for the first time. And they're led by the former number one pick in the draft in his third season now, Charles, Trevor Lawrence. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A short throw to Ingram, and he will have a Jaguars first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And to throw again is Lawrence. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Lawrence. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. So the assignment, a tough one here for this defense. You've got a quarterback ranked in the top five in passing yards. What do they need to do to try to keep him under wraps? Well, they didn't sleep a whole lot getting ready for this one. I can guarantee you there's just so much to combat. But I think they're going to zero in on taking away his top target. Double, triple him if they have to. Make the other guys rise up and try and beat them. They'll feel a whole lot better if those guys win in the routes instead of their number one guy. The numbers on the ground for ETN last week. Very productive. Three touchdowns. Two of them on the ground, one through the air. And it will always be a compliment to say that a guy's got a nose for the end zone, and he sure had it last week. Caught right side, Davis. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're filing things away for future drives in this game. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Lawrence going to throw again. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. 
And the Steelers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Play action. It's Wilson. That's caught downfield by Pickens. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. But Charles, you know, something we talked about last week, when you start believing whether you're in the midst of a special season or not, well, now they're at 6-0. and Are you still trying to tamp down the expectations in that locker room? Well, to me, it's less about tamping down expectations and much more about not getting ahead of yourself as a team. And look, they've got to play each game individually, right? Many teams talk about being 1-0 and at the end of each and every game each week. To me, you've got to understand you cannot win the Super Bowl in October. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Escaping the pressure right. And he will get out of bounds and pick up the first down. So they catch the defense napping. And the fake spike works to move the chains. And Wilson wants a different look. Wilson throwing on first down. Got his man. It's caught. For a Steelers touchdown. Chris Watkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other and he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it, so a sack on the two-point try. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing, the answer can be yes. Because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and seven. Now Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action with Lawrence. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, it's Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Against a team coming off a win, just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. 
It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Jags are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game... And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Najee Harris. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Jags grab it. So holding on the offense, they go ahead and decline the penalty, and the ball will change hands on the fumble recovery. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They're going to look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep and instead a handoff up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress, and I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Harris starts the drive on the ground, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. This one left side caught by Patterson. They'll come up facing third and five. Now Wilson changing the play. Out of the gun now on third down. That swung out wide to Harris. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. They're going for it. This is Harris. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. The one thing I have learned about this league, more and more, you've got to take some chances. You know, if you play everything conservatively and play everything exactly like, okay, I know what to do in each situation, I don't think you're going to get very far. I love the call there going for it, even on his own side of the field. Yeah, and even though, even though you're on your own side of the field, they were creeping towards midfield, so not as crazy as if they were back at their own 20. Right? Should, yeah, should have a little faith in the defense too, right? Yep. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They go play action now. Wilson. Now he's got it. Touchdown! Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Steelers have regained the lead. 
Now Mike Tomlin says let's go ahead and go for two. Wilson going to throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot. And people were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And, Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. On second down, Etienne once more. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Lawrence will throw. Uncorks one for Davis. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Lawrence to throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The Jaguars on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10, it's ETN. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 10 yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. ETN once more. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. From the 43, here's second and nine. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Throw right side, caught by Davis. It's a big play for the Jaguars. And even 40 yards. Well, they've looked his way quite a bit in this first half. And with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. And delivers a big play here for this offense. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14-7. to seven. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Evan Ingram with an amazing diving catch. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath to ETN. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Now Lawrence on first down. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Just a four-play drive that time, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. That's caught downfield by Pickens. Down the sideline he goes. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. George Pickens as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 33. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Steelers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better. But you Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Travis Etienne, and he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis Etienne with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars are back within a score. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is down to two. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll start on the ground with Harris. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Wilson. Here's one deep for Pickens. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. They go play action with Wilson. Here's one deep for Pickens. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. And even 60 yards. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. This is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 
Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. That's caught, and he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. <laughs> he's still on his feet. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Here's Lawrence to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. Holding offense. Hey man, let's play our game. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taking it about the 36. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Jags grab it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And maybe getting a... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the... To review the play, the ruling on the field. So the that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll start the drive with Harris. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. And now they're in the hurry up. Play action. Now Wilson sliding out of the pocket. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Good work there to force the incompletion and fourth down. Normally, it'd be a quick change for the punt return unit, but this offense has converted twice on fourth down so far, so you may want to double check. Taking it right down Broadway. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the gun, it's Wilson. Austin is there and brings in another one. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. You get five. That's a whale of a game. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. Here's Wilson. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Warren. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Jalen Warren, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. He'll buy some time right. 
And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. The throw over the middle taken in. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down, here's Lawrence. His throw incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league. There he goes, left side. A big play that time for Jacksonville. And even 40 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Lawrence going to throw again. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Lawrence will throw. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Wilson going to change things up here. To throw on second down. Wilson going across the formation. He finds Fryer move. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. That is incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Rolling to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Harris. Runs over it. And good power running, but he's still going to be about a yard short. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's Cameron Johnston now. Always a good sign when your first punt. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And he will not make it. They stop him short of the first down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. Hey, kill, kill. Kill. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally down at the 32-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. Now the ball comes loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Defensively well done to jar that free. I'll tell you what, though, offensively, he's got to be lucky after the catch and the fumble that that didn't go too far away from him. And the way the football is shaped, it's not built to bounce true, is it? It can squirt in any direction and move in any way. He was so lucky. Thank his lucky stars he was able to get that one back. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. ETN. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Now Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Christian Kirk from a yard out. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Jalen Warren with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Steelers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Oh, this is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Now Lawrence to throw. And he floats one there incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk with now two fourth-quarter touchdowns. And the Jaguars are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. 
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Here's one deep for Pickens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Here's second down. Now Lawrence. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Steelers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he is going to have a Steeler first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. Wilson wants to throw it. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Running it, Washington. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. They go play action now, Wilson. He's going to launch it for Washington. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. This is first and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Completes it to Evan Ingram. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. 
Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. That's going to be caught. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And it's the Steelers that come up with it. And that should just about do it. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Wilson to throw. He'll let it fly for Austin. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Lawrence. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Oh, Wilson going to throw. And this is caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Quez Watkins, 34 yards. And the Steelers are closing in now on a seventh straight win to start the year. Wilson going to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them.